event. In this room, we have farmers, cooperatives, we have vendors, we have MSPs, we have individuals who have come from everywhere to listen to what the mechanization service providers will talk about and also what the vendors will talk about. In Procom Bikafi, we have made it our mandate, one of our several mandates, to increase the number of tractors that we have available for rural poor farmers across the country. My name is Imo, uh, Igor Saige. I'm a business consultant and I've been working with Propcom on this. It's all started with um, basically post-harvest mechanization services uh, and now we are talking about uh, the entire value chain of mechanization services. In agriculture, crop production is the overwhelming aspect uh, of, the, of the industry. So crop production usually is about 90% of agriculture. So in other words, you can simply say crop production is the single largest contributor to the Nigerian GDP. By looking at everybody through the lens of the MSPs, then we start to build sustainable models for everybody. Uh, so if we look very quickly at the industry overview, we know that the tractor market is growing very rapidly globally at a slower pace in Nigeria, but it's growing nonetheless, and that growth is driven by increased demand for mechanized farming. My name is Musa Samaila. I'm the head admin and logistics for Tufa. We manage 552 for our partners and uh, we have 1,423 members. Quick of it, um, so far we've attracted an investment of 5.5 billion over 552 tractors and uh, for the year 2018 we have generated for our partners 1.5 billion above. In this model, Aluga is working with a company DRL. DRL is the off-taker, Alluvial is the supplier and the facilitator of the value chain and um, then we have Sterling Bank there who is a financer. This is a project for um, a rice mill in Niger State, which is actually a project we're working on right now. A better offering for the farmers, for the benefit of the farmers. Um, I think for Traxi, our, our view is we need to boost the production of the farmer and um, we need to make sure that there's enough food and this can only be done through mechanization. My name is Jordan Olugami. EOA is operating in all the 36 states. We are started off by a program of the Federal Ministry called Agri Enterprise, Agri Hiring Enterprise. And that program gave at least five tractors to 80 enterprises in 2015. And all of those tractors were located in each of the 36 states of the Federation. Uh, my name is Abel Lakiam. I am here on behalf of uh, NECAS, representing uh, Sadiq Umar Dawari, our national uh, Chairman. We at NECAS are a regional association and of course you know there is no gain saying that the region we represent is bedeviled by a range of problems. Prominent among them is of course insurgency. Be able to harness what are comparative advantages. We have quite a lot of land. The demand, the local demand is there. My name is Emmanuel, I'm Business Development Manager, Mecca, Machine and Equipment Corporation Africa. I'm presenting our group country director, Mr. I.B. Gashimbaki. Attention to um, the fact that, based on the survey that uh, we did, there are over 55,000 broken down but serviceable tractors all across Nigeria, different states in Nigeria, and uh, over 5,000 heavy duty uh, machines also. You know, so that is quite uh, an alarming situation, of course. My name is Munza Ambima. I'm the lead hardware engineer for Hello Tractor. The issues we're trying to address is issues within the ecosystem, the mechanization ecosystem. Farmers lack access to mechanization. 
they are not aware it exists, they don't know where exactly it is, they don't know how to access the service. Tractor owners have problems getting their tractors into the market because they don't have visibility over their assets. Okay, um, this event is uh, one of its kind, well organized, and then uh, I think every stakeholder in the mechanization value chain was represented in this event. And uh, most importantly, all stakeholders were given opportunity to actually uh, speak about their value proposition, the problems they are trying to address and the solutions they have. It's quite interesting that I am here because my take home is I've been able to establish partnership here. And uh, I've also been able to learn more about agri mechanization, especially the fact that I don't need to own a tractor, but I can have tractor services available at my doorstep. Oh, I think I'm glad uh, that we're one of the vendors uh, present here today uh, because it was an eye-opening. Uh, it opened our eyes to even see what is happening around us, uh, getting some information from other vendors and from other partners, other people who have partners with uh, PropCon, uh, it is indeed uh, a welcome idea.